we've got 500 entries this year, uh, 110 entrants, uh, so up to 10 entries per entrant. Uh, to put things in context, the first year I took this on, four years ago now, we had 58 entrants. Uh, so there is a lot more now. Uh, We've got 35 exhibition prints, uh, and we've also got the contact sheet prints, which is all the entry, all the valid entries, uh, and they're going to be exhibited uh, at Perth Observatory later on in 2024 as well. And here, Deep Sky, first category winner up. Okay, all right, and the winner is Tangerine Space Dream by Carlos Taylor. If you want to have a chat to Carlos about astrophotography, he's at the very far end in the tent uh, on the uh, left hand side of the telescope's dome. So, congratulations to him. Okay. And the runner up for best deep sky photo is the Bubble Gap, uh, Galaxy NGC 3521, Michelle Bennett. Solo photo. Anybody to say? Okay. So with solar maximum coming up in 2025, there's all, lots of opportunities to get good photos of our beloved sun. Okay. And the winner is El Dorado by Simon Capoon. Astronomers, we don't like the moon, uh, but it does it sometimes put up some nice photos and opportunities. Okay, the best lunar photography, and the winner is HDR Mineral Moon, and by Gabriel Ito. Ito. And oh, very nice. Okay, and the winner is the Green Comet by Christopher Boyd. And I should add that the Green Comet also has Mars in the photo. Yes. All right. Best Nightscape. Each year they get better and better and better and I think I have a chance each year, so. All right, the best nightscape photo goes to Silhouette by Trevor Dobson. <laughs> Trevor? Dan, I actually know someone who knows Trevor, so. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right, now this is the best time lapse. All right, and the winner of the best time lapse video goes to Lady Aurora by Luke Hetherington. the award winners which have some awesome prizes. The next, next award is uh, for the best Aurora Australis photo. Now the winner of this gets an awesome Saxon 6 inch Dobsonian and accessories valued at $779 and that's from Bino Central. So Keith up at Joondalup, our local astronomy shop, thank you Matt. And I will do this one in the absence of a sponsor. The best Aurora Australis photo, Curtains in the Sky by Darren Gray.
next one is the best Aurora, best astro photo taken with a mobile phone. This one has a prize of a Saxon 8-inch Dobsonian and accessories valued at $979 plus a pair of Saxon 10x50 binoculars valued at $199. And this is sponsored by Saxon Telescopes and Binoculars. So a pretty darn good prize there for the best mobile phone, best astro photo taken with a mobile phone. And the winner of that is the Nature Window, Earth's Wonder by Verat. Yeah. Uh, Astro Tourism WA, runner up. So the Shire of Upper Gascoigne and the Shire of Ferongeri are proud to be sponsoring the Astro Tourism WA Best Nightscape Award this year. Uh, the runner-up is being sponsored by the Shire of Ferongeri. We have two nights accommodation at the Ferongeri Caravan Park and a chalet plus voucher to spend at the Ferongeri Hotel, uh, all valued at uh, $370. Uh, and that is sponsored partly by Astro Tourism WA. Carol, who runs that, Carol Redford, is enabled to be here tonight, which is why I'm doing this for her. Um, Astro Tourism WA is a fantastic organisation that gives us good, safe, welcoming places for us to go in the regions to do astrophotography. So if you haven't got to the Astro Tourism WA website, you should go there, find the places which welcome astrophotographers and astronomers and uh, go visit some regions. There's some great accommodation out there now at places like Verondry and Shire of Apagascoigne. So the winner for the runner-up Astro Tourism WA Nightscape Award is Sentinels of the Stars by Trevor Dobson. And so the that was the runner-up of the Astro Tourism WA Award. The actual first place for Astro Tourism WA which is sponsored by the Shire of Apa Gascoigne, two nights accommodation in the Gascoigne Junction pub and tourist park, which, believe me, sounds not half as flash as it should. I love staying there with my family. My eight-year-old kid loves it there. Modern, self-contained individual uh, units, awesome food at the pub, great chef, um, and awesome Kennedy Range National Park nearby. Um, it's fantastic for nightscapes and astro photography in general. Um, Matt says he seconds that. So it's a gift voucher for that, valued at $628, includes food and stuff, it's awesome. Um, so the winner of the Best Astro Tourism WA Nightscape is Desert Dreams by Virat Shah. Kudos Cameras, who's going to sponsor, be sponsoring this with a voucher from Kudos Cameras and HMY Filtersec. Thanks Roger, I'll be very brief. I'm glad I didn't have to choose the People's Choice Award because there are so many fantastic photographs there. So many fantastic photographs. Everyone performed and produced a really great result. The winner of the People's Choice Award is Virat Shah. <laughs> Okay guys, this is uh, this is William Vabasso. Hey, there you go. He's the uh, overall winner of Astrofest this year. 
with this um, amazing uh, shot of the total eclipse taken up in um, Exmouth. So, what, what can you tell us about it, um, um, William? Yeah, what, what sort of camera gear did you use, and anything? Any okay, other so interesting yeah, insights? I've got a. Um, uh, I use my uh, telescope that I often use for uh, deep sky. So that's the Skywatcher 120D, and I use the standard Canon uh, 60. Mm -hmm. um, so attached to it. Uh, so initially on the setup there, I put a solar filter in front of the telescope. So just uh, taking photos as the eclipse slowly came by. And I guess one of the things is, is that at totality, when the moon totally covers the sun, you can actually remove that filter right. and take photos. So that's always yeah. a bit of a nervous thing yeah, because you know, your optics are all exposed yep. and it's only the moon covering the sun that's uh, protecting all your equipment. Yeah. And, yeah. and so where, where did you position yourself? Were you in amongst the masses or did you find a secret location uh, somewhere? We went out to the beach area. So there are yeah. a few people there, but um, 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 uh, a lot of uh, keen, uh, I guess, uh, um, uh, eclipse followers were yeah. out there. Yeah. So yeah, we had a uh, good position on the beach there. So yeah. the tide was awesome. coming in and chasing us. Uh, <laughs> to and take and did it live up to expectations? as an amazing experience. It sounded uh, like most people were uh, quite affected by it. It was very unique, actually. Yeah. It was my first time being there. <laughs> um, and certainly um, uh, it was quite an awe-inspiring event. And, yeah. and from a photography point of view, very nerve-wracking. So yeah, basically two years of preparation for 60 seconds. Wow. And you know, like really hoping that everything goes right. So. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that it's all uh, paid off for you. And you've uh, <laughs> you got this to show you. And so what was your, your prize in the end? It was Sony. Uh, Sony it's camera. A Sony, yeah, A7, A7 IV, Alpha 7 yeah, yeah, and a 14 millimeter. Yeah, it's lens, a very, so very nice prize, actually. Sony's so, being very generous. Yeah, I think very, this is the third year in a row they've uh, that's donated this fantastic prize. Fantastic prize, yeah. Uh, yeah, and quite unexpected to, to win it, actually. Yeah, so, absolutely. So, yeah, very happy. And, it, and fantastic to uh, finally meet you after I've been following you for many years. Yeah, and uh, you want to plug anything? To plug your site? Your, your uh, Stellar Australis? StellarAustralis.com, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you can take a look at all my photos there and I uh, am. Um, my events. Uh, there's also some resources there, like a uh, yep. map of all the uh, nightscape places that yeah, I've been to. Yeah, I highly recommend that if you're into astrophotography, yeah. check and, out that site. Yeah. And um, and uh, actually, all my photos there, if anyone likes them, I actually give them away for free. Oh wow! So printable versions of them. So so oh, yeah. Awesome, um, if there's anything that takes your fancy. Yep. Then uh, yeah, yeah great. I'm happy to provide it. Great. Okay. Thank Thanks a lot much. for talking no to us. Really. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Bye. Okay, so I think you probably uh, all know Verat, my uh, astro buddy, and uh, he's had a very successful night tonight. So give, it, give us a wrap of, I know this is the, the People's Choice Award. Um, this was from a trip when we went up to Nambung, uh, Nambung National Park. And National this Park. Is, yeah. yeah. And, um, and what were the other prizes, Verat? So I thought I'll pick up the People's Choice, uh, the best tourism nightscape, and a mobile phone photo as well. Mobile like, phone photo, so. excellent. Um, and yeah, congratulations, all Thank that hard you. work during the year. What, what, what did we work out? 30, 35 uh, trips? 44 nights. 44, 44 nights. there we go. Now that is uh, some serious uh, late nights. Um, yep. yeah, so. Well deserved. And, and um, I'm very proud to count you as one of my Astro buddies. Yep. And, and, and again, with Greg, he's been inspiring all the time as well. It's so a good to have him. And hopefully next year, we both get a prize together. That's the dream. So. We never know. We'll keep practicing yeah, and um, see what we can do. Okay, excellent. Thanks for Cheers. talking. Thanks, Rick. Okay. Cheers. See you, mate. <laughs> and this is another one of Trevor's uh, photos. Uh, he took this one out at uh, New Norcia, just north of Perth. He's managed to control the light amazingly well here. A lot of the shots I've seen in this area, the, the lights on the buildings are completely blown out. But, uh, yeah, he's a very clever photographer. Hold on, Trevor. It's